Hey guys, how's it going? This is Fixer Med, and welcome back to another one of my Anki add-on videos. In today's video, I'd like to discuss a new add-on called Defer Cards. Defer Cards is an add-on that will allow you to defer the current card you are reviewing and send it to a filtered deck for a review at a later time. Deferring can be done using a keyboard shortcut, the More menu, or the newly added custom button which you can see in the screenshot here, where it says defer, and in the more menu, there's another option to defer. So how it works, during a review session, you can press the configured hotkey. The default is the uh, underscore key, and you can click the custom defer, or use the more menu as stated earlier to defer the current card. Then the card will be sent to a filtered deck called defer cards. The custom button can be enabled or disabled via the configuration settings. So, for the sake of this tutorial, you're gonna need a computer and a version of Anki that is suitable for the computer. If you wanna download the add-on, you can find the download add-on code key in the download section, or you can get the download add-on code from the end of the URL of the defer cards add-on. So go ahead and copy that, open up your Anki, I'm going to hit cancel there for now. Tools, add-ons, get add-ons, paste in the code for the deferred cards add-on, hit OK, it will download it, hit OK again, and restart it. Now I have this cool Anki add-on by Shige called Anki Restart. If you want to check this add-on out, I'll leave a link to this video in either the description or the comment section below. So if you don't see it, be sure to let me know. But Restart on key. Sometimes it takes a little bit more time for me to launch on key when running a tutorial recording session with OBS. But as you can see, it opens back up. I'm going to cancel again, and the add on should be installed. So I'm going to go through a review session for Fragile X Syndrome. What are the clinical manifestations of Fragile X Syndrome when there is a premutation? So I, I don't know this exactly off the top of my head. So I can see the answer, ataxia tremor, primary ovarian insufficiency. Instead of hitting again or hard or good, I can simply defer it. So I can read the first aid pages in the Nemazine deck and then have a better understanding of the content. What symptom often observed in patients with Fragile X Syndrome and might be confused with Lesch-Nyhan Syndrome? Uh, symptom, I think this is self-mutilation. And I got it right, so I'm gonna hit good. What is the underlying genetic cause of Fragile X Syndrome? Trinucleotide repeats in the, now it's been a while since I've seen this. I think, uh, GAA is Friedrich Ataxia, Fragile X, CAG, FMR1. So I obviously didn't know that, so I'm going to defer that. What are the clinical manifestations of Fragile X syndrome when there is a full mutation? Okay, so there's like multiple choices here, so I don't think I'll have to defer this card. Long face, large jaw, large averted ears, uh, mitral valve prolapse, or mitral valve. <laughs> I always butcher that word. Mitral valve prolapse hypermobile joints. Um, I know this is pu post-pubertal macrocortism, autism. So I'm also going to defer that card for later. So imagine it's been five hours later. I've done my research on those cards. I've done the additional reading through RX Bricks, uh, Amboss, etc. I can go through, study these cards now. What are the clinical manifestations of Fragile X Syndrome when there is a full mutation? Uh, long face, large jaw, large averted ears, mitral valve prolapse, hypermobile joints, autism, postpubertal, macrocortism. Got that. Underlying genetic cause of Fragile X Syndrome, trinucleotide repeats in the FMR1 gene. Uh, what are the clinical manifestations of Fragile X Syndrome when there is a premutation? Ataxia, tremor, primary ovarian insufficiency. Sweet. 
I got all that. I'm very happy. But yeah, that's uh, all I have for today. Uh, I wouldn't recommend uh, messing with the uh, options or rebuild button with this add-on because if you do rebuild it, it's going to add a hundred random cards that are just due. So I wouldn't do that personally. And even if you change it around to limit it to whatever the latest added first that we've done, it won't rebuild the deck properly. So just keep that in mind while using this add-on, uh, defer the cards if necessary, but um, you can't necessarily rebuild using this deck properly. So yeah, that's all I have to say for this add-on. It's pretty cool if you need to just pull a card aside to the side and review it or re-review it for your exams. But right now there's still some kinks with the add-on that will be sorted out in the future, I hope. But for now, yeah, this is the best tool I could find for deferring cards. If you guys have any questions or comments or any concerns regarding this add-on, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. Uh, that's all I have for the video. Um, I'd appreciate it if you guys could leave a like, potentially subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Guys, uh, thank you so much for getting the channel to 1,000 subs. It means a lot. It really does. I never thought it would cross a hundred, but it crossed a thousand. So I hope to do a lot more big things on the channel in the coming few months. But yeah, this is Fixer Med signing off. Be sure to have a great day, everyone, and good luck studying as always. Goodbye.